have a feedback right now. Give us a second to get it yeah. together. There we go. Now, Christmas Eve is tomorrow. We're going to cook something fabulous in just a little bit. We have Jeff Baldwin from Baldwin's is here. And look at that spread we have in front of us. Mm. That is something we're going to get into in just a minute. You have a lot of stuff you brought for us, yeah? Oh, yes. You always do. You always do us fine. And then uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to talk this. Yeah. We're going to talk Pete Wellington yeah, in just a minute. But Jason's going to show us a little poker stuff first. Okay. All right. That's right, we are in Studio C. We're gonna check in on the action over here with these guys and uh, see who the chip leader looks like. Chris, well, hey, Joe's doing pretty well. It's pretty close. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Plua was chip leader. It doesn't look like it's the case any longer. <laughs> so after playing with the poker champ here, Kent, uh, for the last uh, hour yeah. and 15 minutes or so, uh, what's your take? I don't think he's really that good. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was after yeah. he knocked me out, so. Uh, no, he's, he's really good. And, uh, it's an, it's an, I'm enjoying it. I'm so getting a lesson, that's for sure. Uh, Joe, have you noticed any tells? Do the guys have any tells? No, I, I don't know any tells. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, Joe Cat, of course you know that he is the poker champion. And uh, there you see Greg Canner, our right. sports producer, leaning into frame to deal out some cards. They are actually playing cards and have been all morning. $8.5 million. We've already heard from Joe that he's banking it. At the, at the, yeah, that's what they're playing for, right? <laughs> what would you do with $8.5 million, Mike Moore? I'd share some of it, but I'd keep most of it. <laughs> <laughs> would you, what would you spend it on, Greg Canner? Uh, how about a house? Yeah, yeah, right. a nice house. Joe's got one of those. All right, where are you going? I know you have PokerStars.net, but what's what's next for Joe Cat, a Poker Champion main event? Uh, the Bahamas, the PokerStars Caribbean Adventure is coming up in the Bahamas, and that's probably like the second biggest thing next to the World Series. And uh, I know there's about 50 tournaments out there, so it should be fun. You know, what I've noticed is is you guys have been playing for the last hour, and it, it, the, the game started out a little tense, and now everybody's friends. Is that what poker does? Yeah, um, poker, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I play tighter when uh, it's, there's no money on the line. <laughs> it's weird. All right, Joe, anybody you want to give a shout out to since you're uh, homegrown and you're back for the holidays to the family or anything? Uh, I just want to say hello to everyone, like all my friends back. And um, you have a lot more family? friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah, something like that. Joe has a lot more friends since he won eight and a half million dollars. <laughs> All right, you guys keep on playing, and I'm sure that uh, they'll figure out something to wager. That's going to do it from the Gaming Center in Studio C. We'll be back on the 9 after this. Thanks for coming in, Joe. Thank you. Beautiful, she's telling me. Man, she's picked out a large type bed. I could.
It is indeed Christmas Eve, and it is now time to enjoy some tasty food and great beverages and a great experience from uh, Jay Baldwin's. Chef Jeff Baldwin is here, and he's going to cook us something up, right, Candace? Right, indeed. And, uh, you know, you have brought quite the spread, and we'll talk about what's available for people who still are procrastinating and have no desire to cook on Christmas Eve. Um, but what do you make for us today, Chef? Well, I got a bunch of uh, bite-sized appetizers uh, with the color green and red mm -hmm, for, that's so for the texture so and, and flavor. Uh, we're going to do uh, mini beef wellingtons and uh, for vegetarians I have uh, asparagus and uh, red pepper mm -hmm. and then uh, shrimp shooters right here that we're doing. Okay. Okay. So we're going to uh, start with the beef. You, you already cooked, pre -cooked the beef yep. and, and what, yeah, what's the other one there? There's asparagus, beef and what? Uh, and shrimp shooter. And then here, oh, this yeah, is, yeah, this is a beef. mushroom and oh, okay. mushroom and onion that I cooked down, mm -hmm. and put a little bit of gorgonzola cheese in it at it, the end. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. Yes. So then I'm gonna put the put the beef on top, all right, and a little bit of egg wash. This is egg. So it's always good to have puff pastry around for always the holidays. Always puff for, pastry. Now you say egg. You said egg wash. Yeah, it's just mixed, I mixed absolutely with a little know nothing bit of, about cooking. What, what's in that? It's just like egg? One, one egg mixed I'm with kidding, a, right? <laughs> with what? It's got to be mixed with something else because it looks different. I mix with a little bit of uh, cream. Oh, okay. Very nice. Mm. So I'm gonna fold this around and pull the corners up. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you seal it in. Okay. And then put it on the tray here. And then same thing with the uh, asparagus. Okay. Oh, so you're so not are... putting them in together. Gotcha. Yeah. And I'm gonna put a little bit of Parmesan on the asparagus. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. And then for the okay. shrimp shooter. I'm gonna rim the glass with a little bit of lime, mm -hmm. and then put this on the. What is that? And this is a little seasoning, like uh, little Old Bay, or this is actually Cajun spice. Oh, okay, yeah. Cajun ah. spice. And then we have zing zang and vodka. <laughs> zing zang zoom there, chef. Yeah, we love the <laughs> zing zang. It's got, it's great. These are perfect for you know all the holiday festivities. Well, that you know mm -hmm. that looks really festive, and it Kay. looks like it would be very easy. You know, just yes. for your cocktail party. Once again, yeah. crazy me. What's that you put in the second one? Is that uh, you said uh, lime and uh, uh, zing zang and vodka? In the in the garnish. In the garnish is uh, the lime and this uh, parsley. Parsley. Okay, there we okay. go. That's parsley. No problem. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Very nice. And then to pull out of the oven, we got these puff pastry ones. All right, ready. I'm willing and ready to taste. So you want to brown them off? It only takes about ten Beautiful. minutes mm -hmm. to get them nice and brown. Okay. Okay. Now let's talk about. The martini glass. Yes. This is so cool because I don't know that um, we reflected this earlier. This is ice. Yeah. This is pure ice right here, right? Pure ice. It's ice it's inside the glass. It's glass ice. of ice. The only yes. one, we're the only restaurant in the whole Midwest. There's mm -hmm. only, there are five restaurants in the whole country that, that have this. How is that? How is it that you have the cornered market on that? Well, it's, so cool. it's brand new to the market. Mm -hmm. uh, and we, we, you know, we just uh, decided to do it, and it, it's perfect for all types of drinks. Wine, I was going to say, you, could, you don't even have to mm -hmm. just put beer. martinis in there. So what I have in here is a little Cointreau mm -hmm. and some vodka mm -hmm. and uh, pomegranate juice. Okay. So for the holidays, you do a little pomegranate juice. All right, okay, perfect. So pour and that it in keeps here. Your, your drink the whole time yeah, cold. Yeah, perfectly cold. Perfect. Okay. So, Great for New Year's Eve. We still have uh, lots of reservations left for New Year's Eve, but they're going very fast. Okay, now tell us about your catering because this okay. is this is quite the spread here. Yes, this is a whole dinner to go complete. So you don't want to do if you don't want to do the cooking mm -hmm. at home. I have uh, the beef tenderloin, oh, or you can do delicious. a ham, mm -hmm. uh, turkey. Uh, we also have uh, the salad, mashed potatoes, green beans, and then a cheesecake for dessert. And how much is All that? All complete. Starts out at 185 for the turkey and up to 285. And that serves like eight people. Serves eight to ten. All right, eight to yep. ten people. Wonderful. Jay, plenty of leftovers. Jay Baldwin's <laughs> is located at 18 Mile Road in Clinton Township. For all the information, just head to our website, myfoxdetroit.com. How to trim your Christmas tree? Dun dun dun. That's next. The nine returns.